All right. So we're playing Bed Wars. Um, I'm playing on all the different new maps from either the Slumber update or I don't remember what the other new maps are for, but there are a good amount of new maps. They're all on the thing. This one, I do not remember what it's called. I believe it's called like Atius or something. Atius, something like that. A weird name for a map. But it seems like we're getting off to a good start. Our first rush fell in the void and then left? Oh my goodness. I don't think I could get a better start than that. I don't know. Oh, those are the diamond gens. Okay. Then I'm going to go back over here really quick and get some diamonds from this one. I don't know how fast this map is. Based on how big it is, I assume it's pretty slow. I mean, it doesn't look like it would be fast. I mean... I'm the only person to, okay, well, never mind, not anymore. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm the only person to do really anything yet, so, but now I'm not. Of course, as soon as I get ready to say that, someone dies, and it was pink and gray. Okay. Oh, and Aqua left. I don't really know what I'm going to do here. can never have too many diamonds until somehow you end up getting maxed out diamond upgrades which i have done once it's actually not that hard like that that map um ah uh, what's it called gelato i believe when it was back in the summer update i had uh, a game where i had full diamond upgrades the game lasted almost till the end like with um the dragon but i did get all the diamond upgrades which is pretty cool i even got all like the forge shit all that actually i guess i technically didn't get all the diamond upgrades because i had maxed out traps but i didn't have every trap because how would i even do that um okay this yellow dude's running i'm about to just rush him i guess doesn't have a trap. Oh, he doesn't have a bed. What am I doing? Damn, dude. My hands are so fucking cold. Oh, my God. Oh, and my radiator's going off. If you can hear that, I apologize. Like, it'll just kick in sometimes, and it is so annoying. <laughs> what, what? 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 I don't know how the fuck he got that hit there. I just accidentally bought two fucking swords. Great. Somebody just pinged me on Discord, and I do not care. I do not care. Stop. Do not disturb or whatever. Damn, it would have been really funny if he just jumped off right there. But, of course he doesn't. And he just sold that so hard. <laughs> and somehow I just, like, couldn't hit him for a solid minute and a half. I think this dude is, like, god-awfully laggy or something. Because anytime I get close to him, it's just lag. 24 7 and oh my god free gold all right this is a video about maps so i guess i gotta talk about the map which i don't think i'm gonna have a great time talking about it that dude's going the other way which is great um okay that's, that's double slabs right there that's annoying um so this map is not bad <laughs> i wouldn't say it's one i would regularly play on i mean this lobby looked pretty sweaty just when i was joining it but turns out guess it really wasn't i mean okay and i just started hitting i started comboing him with blocks okay thank god i lived that i don't know how i lived that but yeah we good i i would definitely like not play on this map as much as other maps i mean one of the best bedwars maps in my opinion is cascade the one that has um okay no this dude's on such high ping what the fuck but as i was saying cascade is probably one of the best like purely good bedwars maps like the way it's built and all that it's like it's sound it's a nice bedwars map it's one you can play on where nothing really happens that's stupid not a lot of people rush the wrong way and stuff like that feel like on this map that might be similar like i don't feel like people are gonna rush diamonds first on this map 
purely based off of like how the rush scheme is set out if that makes sense or set up where like the bases are close enough kind of like cascade the bases are close enough to where if people rushed the same way or people rush the wrong way they're kind of gonna get like punished if they do that it's like if i went to the diamonds there's like a 90 percent chance that that blue dude gets to my base and kills me but he did leave the game so that didn't that wouldn't have happened but <laughs> but like the rush the rushing seems good on this map um i swear to god i just saw oh he's over there i was about to say i just saw him he didn't move from that spot He doesn't have shears, or at least didn't use them there for whatever reason. Okay, no fucking way. This dude's actually so laggy. Doesn't take any KB at any time. I'm going to have prop four, though, which W me. Okay, we're at the base. Just grab this bed really quick. He doesn't even have a trap. That's wild. You know, really quick, go get these diamonds. You think I could fireball him from here? Oh, he fell in the void. L. <laughs> fix. <laughs> fix. Fix your ping, please. It is impossible to deal with. All right, let's hop into game two. All right, this is another humongous looking map, which is great. It's my favorite thing. Um, I don't know the rush on this, so I'm going to get 32, 30, 33, sorry. But I'm going to get two stacks of blocks just in case someone rushes me the way I'm not expecting. But uh, okay, white is rushing me this way. But white's also like an idiot. Okay, never mind. We good to go this way. So I played on this map before, but I played on it as a doubles map. Or as a full as a 4v4v4v4 map. I believe. Which then it was alright, because all those maps are huge. But this is a solos map right now. And it is ginormous. Like, so goddamn big. This might be one of the biggest solos maps. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, look how big this thing is. Oh, my God. Now, okay. All right. Well, at least I get iron armor. But I'm going to miss out on those diamonds. Because I am not making the fucking journey to go back to that base. I'm so fat fingered the fucking left click. And I missed. I accidentally bought another stack of blocks. I'll not stack. I bought another 16 on accident when I was trying to buy a stone sword. Okay. People are dying a lot quicker than I thought they would on this map. Which is kind of weird. People are dying at like really quick rates for this map size. Uh, Green died, which means yellow's base is kind of open. But uh, I am not going over there just yet. <laughs> not without upgrades and not without a better sword uh i should be able to get yeah no that's fine i think we can rush him with this he's going that way either way good enough for me he's getting those diamonds he's not getting these and he's going that way which means i should hopefully be able to go get his bed really quickly i've been trying to drag click but every time i do my blocks i'm disappearing so i'm just gonna single click yeah I mean, I've been single clicking for a while now for the ASMR videos because, like, I don't think people really like the sound of drag clicking. So, I mean, I've just been butterfly clicking, single clicking on my right click for a while now, and I've been kind of getting used to it. And I'm not going to lie, I've been getting used to it a little too much, and I'm kind of doing it better than when I drag click. Which is kind of sad because, I mean, drag clicking is supposed to be helpful not make me fall in the void but it's happened more times than it hasn't which is sad very sad oh god i forgot this video is about ranking or like talking about the maps so uh yeah this map is humongous um not a huge fan of it 
this is another map where I would say I would definitely not play on this very much. I mean, unless you want your games to be like 10 minutes long, then sure, yeah, you can play on this map. But like for the average Bed Wars player, person just wanting to like play the game, probably don't want to play on this map. You're not going to see much action, at least not farther from the first rush. And, like, the mid is really weird to navigate. Which, I should have gone to mid on that last map just to see how it would feel getting around it. This mid is kind of weird. Not sure how big of a fan I am of the maps that have the mid designs of... You go to mid, and there's, like, a central mid, and a diamond generator part of the mid. Or emerald generator part of the mid, if that makes sense. Like, there's the part that's, like has all the emerald gens then there's the part that has nice fireball <laughs> the part that has all the emerald gens and then the part that has all like the places to go around i believe there's two people at my base right now yeah no there is okay i love this game if you couldn't tell <laughs> I just got double rushed. It's my favorite thing ever in Bed Wars, getting double rushed. Oh my god, dude. Why did that even happen? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Why why do they hate me? Ugh, now I gotta attempt to kill this gray dude. I don't think he was that good though, which is good for me. And I don't know where to rush him from. Should I go rush him from mid? That might be a good idea. Might be the better idea. I have a decent amount of gaps. I can take that fall damage. Okay, well, he's at mid right now. All right. He just gave up his positioning there. And that's what happens. Ugh. I was about to say, I have way better positioning there than you do. I was just trying to like brute force those hits. I'm throwing those out, mainly because I don't want this game to last 20 minutes. If I go run back to my base to go get full pots, this game's going to last 20 years. Because I'd have to fight him back at mid. And then I would have to fight him back at his base. It would just be like a whole thing. Please get knocked off from that. Oh, nice ping, buddy. thank you that's three diamonds that I want to throw in the void oh you can jump on a that's weird I did not know you can make a jump like that so he's going to have a fireball most definitely if he didn't that'd be kind of weird I gotta use my fireball in a... okay. okay did not mean to do that but uh we ball so, let me get this bed really quick. He thought I ran away. You jump down there, you're dying. Oh, come on. Oh, I still have images. What was that plan? <laughs> you were on one heart, man. That was a god-awful plan. Alright, this map sucked. Let's hop into the next game. Game three. All right, we've got game three, map three. I believe it's called Casita. Yeah. Uh, this is another big looking map. Um, definitely doesn't look as big as the last one. But oh yeah, this map's big. I believe I also played on this map as well as a doubles map. Which for doubles, this map is probably okay. For solo, is definitely not my favorite. And of course, this dude's grabbing Endstone, which is ideal 
first rush block to go against. Okay, so now I just gotta really quick go get a pick. And I'll get chain armor. I accidentally bought a gold pick. Definitely not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, and blue is dead. Which is great. Because that means that green is the next person I have to rush. However, green, it's going to have to be a second because uh, I need some diamond wimes. <laughs> And this is nice. The diamonds are right near the first rush bridge that you'll make. Always a plus for me, at least. I hate having to bridge to another diamond gen. But like on maps like Zarzal, I don't really think it matters. I mean, it is a very, very likely place you're going to die. But I don't really hate it on Zarzal. Mainly because I like diagonal bridging. Not a lot of people do. I like diagonal bridging. Um... All right, there we go. But again, this is another like big, big map. The mid looks really easy to get around. The mid looks like it's just like walking. Like, yeah, it looks like you could walk around the mid. It seems like the ideal way to go rush your next rush is through mid. Obviously, I'm doing way more bridging than I have to. Oh, yellow. <laughs> yellow, that's some rough words right there. Nice. Okay. Please tell me I get this. Ah. Oh, God damn it. I hope he at least comes out and fights me. Or he's not going to and he's going to sit in his generator. Of course, he's got sharp. Oh my god, it just teleported him right to me. Jesus. I almost died because of that. Wow. Alright. <laughs> I'm not a fan of fighting in people's bases because of how closed off they are. So on this map, it feels like you really want to get really want to get diamond upgrades or emeralds too. Definitely before taking a fight, especially in someone's base, definitely want to be more stacked than them. It's going to kind of be hard to kill someone in there when you're less stacked or on lower health, like what I was just there. I kind of got lucky that he didn't have prot, because if he did, if he had prot and sharp, I was screwed. But at least he didn't. That's the bright side. All right, so aqua and white are next to each other. So I'm really hoping that they're going for each other. And that one of them isn't just like sitting in their base and the other one's at mid. Alright. One of them died. I believe he just fell in the void because they were not fighting. I was looking over there. Neither of them were fighting. So, he definitely just fell in the void. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can fall in the void all you want. Oh my god, I keep forgetting I have to talk about the maps. So, uh, you yeah, know, this map is still a little bit big for my taste. I went to the wrong way. I just realized white was the one who died, and I have to go to aqua. And again, the mid is literally just walking. I have iron armor, right? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is another map that's a little too big for my tastes, but it seems like a lot of people left and rejoined my lobby while I was queuing it. And it seems like this might be like non-heaven. So if you're just like a Bedwars player who just wants to play a game and have fun, this might be your map. Okay, wow. Oh my god. I was trying to prolong the fight so I could finish my sentence, but I died. <laughs> Smartest Bedwars player. Alright, let's stop talking about dead jokes. Let's go kill this Aqua dude. As quick as possible. I'm about to speed run this bitch. I don't know how the rest of that song goes. I didn't watch Dream ever. Um, so he's at his base. This should be an easy kill. I mean, I would have killed him and been on like more than way more than half health if I actually like 
killed him with my sword last time, but I was kind of hitting him with a block. Oh, oh, okay. I love ping. I love it when my ping is the one that's bad. Yep. Easy. But yeah, this map is probably the best one I've we've seen yet. It's not bad. It's still a little big, but it seems like it's not very sweaty, which is nice. Anyways, let's hop into the last game, game four. All right, we got game four, which is the last one. Um, I believe this map's called Nebuk. Nebuk, whatever the heck you want to call it. I don't know how to say that. Um, God, why did they only add big ass maps? And this map looks exactly like the one I've played on this map before. This map looks exactly like the one with the diamond generators like at mid almost okay he died there but i'm also on like no health now just great i should hopefully be able to get this bad oh my god all right so i need to go kill that red dude but uh this map isn't terrible it's another one of these maps where it's like a little too big for me but it, it, it's not a bad map like it's not built wrong i say wrong like there's a way to build a map wrong i mean it's not built bad okay and this dude's about to do this like come on bro just fight me you have to be doing all this this is what it looks like to be one of the most annoying bed wars players of all time there isn't really another way to get in there, too. Which is unfortunate. Okay, great. He got ahead of me. Oh, lucky you. God damn it. Oh, he fell in the void. W. I killed him. I just killed that man in the void. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, Yeah, that is probably the most annoying thing you can do just like sit in your base with a fireball and wait fuck i just bought clay <laughs> well i guess i might as well use it break the bed break the bed break the bed throw some clay on that god the clay texture on this pack is kind of weird i don't really know if i'm a fan of that or not looks a little weird not like ugly but it's like not not the best Kind of looks like a little too waxy, you know what I mean? Like, it looks a little too much like a block and less like clay, if that makes sense. I don't know. This isn't pack reviews. This isn't map reviews. <laughs> but uh, this map, again, too big for me. Not a bad map, though. Also, uh, screw you. Why are you coming over here? Did you fall in the void? No, he's still over there. <laughs> well, nope, he did fall in the void. And he took my trap. Fuck you. God, that's annoying. Ugh. He just took my trap for that. That's so annoying. Oh my god, I almost fell in the void. Wow. Um, He's got diamond armor. I'm definitely not going to try and fight this dude until I have to. Which is like when he's a final. No trap. That's nice. Always nice. God, I love my ping. Okay. That was a great fight. Great fight. He kind of just got like five sheep shots on me, which is always really nice. He's got sharp too. He's got sharp, some level of prot, which is just not fun to deal with, especially when you're in diamond armor. And he seems to now have a stone sword and he's going to middle. God bless your soul. I hope you find peace in life. I don't know why you would take that fight. I mean, I know you're more stacked than me, but there's no need to take that fight. Just run. You had a pretty decent chance to go get my bed there, too. And now I gotta go fight this pink dude who's way more stacked than me. And we killed him. W. I do like the mid on this map. Um, It's kind of like Casita where it's easy to run around so if you're a final and you need m's to win a game it's not hard to get m's all the things are close together 
if i had one like one gripe i have about mids like that though is there's always going to be the players who just like go get emeralds and then do nothing else <laughs> which is not really fun i mean if we're talking strictly about technicality of the map then like yeah having a mid having a mid like this is not not a bad choice but like if we're talking fun if you're trying to win bed wars games without like pots or diamond armor it's gonna be kind of hard because the mid is like this um i don't know why you went over to this side out of all the things you could do you went like this i don't have a fireball Hey, I'll let you jump. Come over here. I'm letting you go. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. He really just fireballed that. I have my pots on me. Oh my god. Now that's annoying. That's really annoying. I don't know why he used a fireball like that. That was so weird. But now I gotta go kill him, uh, or her. Oh, no. I lost the game. Well, that's great for me, I guess. <laughs> so, closing remarks. This map was alright. Uh, if I had to rank these, it would probably go... This map, Casita. Uh, the first map, Aceus. And then, I'm going the wrong way. And then, the second map, Arid. The one with that was all red sand and stuff because that one was ugly and big anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later and peace